Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You know, Uh-oh. we know your story, but our <laughs> viewers might not know your story. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we want to go back to when you were a little boy growing up. Did you always want to play football? You know, are you an only child, single, you know, um, mom, dad? I, we need to know everything. Okay. Wow. Uh, She's going back down there. Right, 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 right. I'm going to keep it short. Uh, in Horn... Uh, well, just growing up, I played football. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I was always the little guy. I was never a big guy. I knew I was faster than others. I knew I had more ability than other people. You know what I'm saying? So uh, at the end of the day, I didn't think it would translate to the NFL just because, like you saying, eat my size. At that time, when I was growing up, I didn't. we didn't have, like, little guys to look at. That's you right. know what I mean? It was always Michael Irvins and Calvin Johnson these big guys and I'm not a big guy so I wasn't thinking about the NFL so I was thinking about going to school um becoming become, what but uh inf- I graduated information systems okay so my daddy was a tech guy a mm-hmm. uh, a um developer and it's an encryption yeah so uh, password keys and things like yeah. that so mm-hmm. I do have I I can do that but at the end of the day guy had a different story for me and uh when high school came um Long story short, my mom had passed. So in mm-hmm. uh, 2006, she had passed. And I kind of, I gave up on football. I gave up on life in general. My life had paused. I, I wasn't going to school. I wasn't doing too much of anything. You know what I mean? But what brought me back is kind of, I just used her death in a sense to kind of motivate me. And the way it happened, her having an aneurysm, her telling me that night, uh, her telling me that night, um, that she won't always be around for me. She won't always be around to to wake me up in the morning, to be that mother uh, figure in my life to tell me, Taylor, you need to do this, this, and this. My grades was bad. I'm hanging out. I'm doing stuff that I, you know what I mean, I, I wasn't supposed to be doing. And for her to pass that morning after her, like, wow. whooping my butt. Like, she like gave a, me a whooping, yeah. Right. She gave me a whooping that night. Like, like she, she stayed around just to tell right, you that. Right, She gave me a whooping that night. And to wake up that morning, and she gave me $2. She was like, man... I'm not always gonna be here to. Did you save that two dollars? I did. I, I got that. I got. I still got that two dollars. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not. She's. It was just kind of weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she dropped me off at school. E and what's so crazy, man? Maybe five minutes later, she died. Wow. Yeah. I, I remember me and you uh, going back to that. You know, in here. Yeah. After that, me and you talked briefly about yeah, it. Yeah, we, we did. Would talk. You know what? We I talked yeah. about God a lot yeah. to you too. I don't know if you remember yeah, that, but yeah, I'd yeah. always because that's you know that's, that's who, who that's, I am. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I just thank God that I was a part of your life during yeah. that time. And man, you had a dope friend. Yeah. Y'all had a dope system too. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you was you always the, the right quiet crew. one. Yeah. yeah. You had the right crew, man. Mm-hmm. And just some positive in my life that was going on at that time. A lot of people don't know about that. A lot of people read about that by me. But a lot of people don't know kind of what I went through, that mental struggle of mm-hmm. like my 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 faith yeah. and where my motivation comes from, where my drive c- my, comes from. And so after that, uh, I go the uh, I'm thinking I'm about to go to TCU. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? LSU or stuff like that. So another roadblock, my grades aren't good because yeah. of that year yeah. that I took off. So my SATs. We I didn't have anybody that went to college, so I didn't know about SATs and ACTs. So my SATs wasn't good. So mm. now, like, all my offers are gone. I can't get into college. I can't do what I want to do. So now I take this one drive to West Texas, Abilene Christian. Mm-hmm. Never heard of it. I knew the, about it. Never heard of the city. Never <laughs> heard of what was going on out there. Country. Country. <laughs> very country. But I, I'm glad that I went. I think God put me at a Christian school because that's what I needed. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it grounded me because I was kind of lost as a man and as a person. But it's a really good school, though. It's People a, it's don't a really very don't good know school. that because the school I used to go to, Southwestern Christian College, uh, all the kids come from yeah, that school yeah. and go straight to yeah. Abilene Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very good school. And, and, and e, we used to go to church every day at yeah, 12 that's that's the same in thing. college. Mm-hmm. Like They used to make us go to church. That's dope. Mm-hmm. And I needed that, man. I needed that type of structure. Like, College, I mean, I didn't party. I didn't I didn't do anything. I, I played football. I worked. Did y'all do Bible classes? It was a requirement? Yeah, we Same had to thing. do Bible classes. So it's like in the class, like, man, if you cheat in this class, it's like, man. Yeah, exactly. I was scared to cheat. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, do I cheat in this Psalms Bible class? We talking about Moses and Jesus. And it's hard to you cheat. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.